This is Antarctica. It's cold in Antarctica. It's always cold. In fact, it's been cold for such a long time that a lot of the snow hasn't melted for millions of years. All that time, it just keeps piling up, deeper and deeper. So today, in places across Antarctica, the snow is over three kilometers deep. Over time, this snow packs together. It crushes under its own weight so tightly that it becomes solid ice. But it isn't completely solid. It contains tiny bubbles. These bubbles of air have been sealed off from the world since the time they were formed hundreds of thousands of years ago. That makes them very interesting for climate scientists. The scientists at the British Antarctic Survey have taken samples of ice from the surface to the bottom three kilometers down. By measuring the CO2 in the air bubbles, they have charted its level back through the years. CO2 is a greenhouse gas. That means it traps heat, acting like a blanket that warms the earth. The more CO2, the warmer the earth. It's low during ice ages and high during warm periods. During ice ages, huge sheets of ice, kilometers thick, form across Europe, Asia, and North America. During the warm periods, like today, the ice retreats. Low CO2, high CO2. Low, high. Low, high. So what are the CO2 levels that we are recording today? They are much, much higher. That's because burning fossil fuels releases CO2. And in recent years, we have been releasing more and more CO2 into the atmosphere, from our homes, from factories, and from cars and planes. Forests absorb CO2, but we have been cutting our forests down all around the world. This CO2 will continue warming the planet whilst it remains in the atmosphere. And meanwhile, we are emitting even more. The polar regions are warming and melting. That's very bad news for rising sea levels, and it will also have a devastating effect on wildlife here. There are ways we can reduce our emissions and at the same time improve the quality of our lives. We will all need to act, and act now together. Please help. We need to limit CO2 now.